Welcome back to the Core Fishing Channel. Let me take you on an adventure. This video sees myself and my brother Jason encountering some true monster catfish in an unforgettable and perhaps an unbeatable session. Grab yourself a drink, sit down, relax, and enjoy the carnage which ensues. Yo guys, what's up? <laughs> it's your <boy. laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Core Fishing Channel. If you haven't guessed it already, we are back in France targeting some monster moggies, AKA the Wells Catfish. So we're going to smash this drive out, get down to the lake, get some rods out for the evening, and then hopefully see you with a big fish. Uh, we are just arriving at the lake, and as you can tell by the light levels, it is late. So once we get to the lake, we are going to sort all our stuff out, get some baits out, and then we will catch up. Well, it's just been a mad uh, hour, hour and a half, setting up and getting the rods out in the rain, but they're out. Um, just didn't have time to set up the camera equipment to show you what we're using, but tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the tactics. But hopefully we see one in the night. That'd be great. But uh, for now we're absolutely shattered. It's gone midnight. We've been on the road for God knows how long. Um, so it's time to get our heads down, start fresh tomorrow. But like I said, hopefully we'll see you in the night with a big moggy. Let's go. We sorted the rest of our gear out for the evening and started to settle in, but we were then rudely interrupted. Rods have been out an hour. Just literally put my head down to go to sleep and this rod's gone we got here we set up in a mad rush it was raining and um mate <laughs> fingers crossed we can land it mate hey eh? first fish of the trip oh my god lock that up see as you can oh. that's not off is it yeah so yeah that just happened um wow Probably the most powerful fish I've ever felt in my life. Absolutely obscene. Um, I think what's happened is it's gone round something because the braid is like really thinned out, and it's just um, it's just cracked off. But man, that that was a PB. That is absolutely wounding. Fishing, man. Thankfully for me, only an hour later, my rod was away again. <laughs> Come on. Well, I've got a second chance here at a fish. I was just fast asleep. I woke up by the sound of the alarm. Um, and yeah, we're just really hoping that uh, we can get this in and, and kickstart the, the, the holiday the way we should. Oh my god, I'm shaking already. Come on, whiskey's first night, baby. Let's do it, Ken. I'm my head talks off so you can, so can see me properly, but... Yeah, we're in, boys. I'll get this camera away because it's starting to rain. Yeah, sure thing. With the rain now coming down heavily, I really wanted to limit the exposure to the camera, so that went away in the bivvy whilst Jason helped net the fish, and my god, it was a monster. Now we're going to give it away and see what she goes. Oh my... word. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the absolute madness of this catfish? 117 pounds of power and a new PB for me. Well, how about that? For the first fish of the trip, 117 pounds and a new PB for me. Absolutely made up with this. What an awesome fish, how was that? Oh yeah, incredible. Look at the size of it. We can barely hold it. It's at least six and a half foot long and it's so heavy. Um, gonna get a few photos, um, get the rods back out, and then it's Jason's turn. Let's just look at that for a fish. My new PB. Oh, oh, whoa. Here you go. Get in there. The rest of the evening passed fairly uneventfully, with Jason losing a small fish to a hook pool around 4 a.m. By five o'clock in the morning, he decided to row his bait back out and it wasn't long before it went. We're running on very, very little sleep. No food, but we're soldiers, my son. <laughs> we march on. Whoa, whoa. Massive tails. So we've just done hook this and um, I think we've underestimated it a little bit. I mean, came in fairly easy, I think we thought it was a bit of a smaller fish, well I say small, we thought sort of 40 pounds or so, but I think 
it's probably double that looking at it. Um, we're just resting him for a second, we're going to get out and weigh him and have a look at him and treat any treat any battle wounds, but yep, um, we'll get back to you. Well, it's a lot bigger than we thought, um, 94 pounds in fact, I originally thought it was about 40 pounds when I was bringing him in. Um, yeah, we've got him out and taken a look at him, lovely fish, massive head on it, but yeah, 94 pounds, just got to make sure his pecs are all alright, we're going to check him over, put some gel on him and um, get him back, hopefully we can get another one pretty soon. See you mate. Bye. Nice one. Get the rods back out, shall we? <laughs> so we don't really have a, a solid plan for today other than the fact that we're gonna make a nice little base camp. Just haven't had time to do it yet. It's been just mental, as you know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go to the supermarket this morning, stock up on some goodies, uh, get everything comfortable for us and the girls, and uh, hopefully catch some more fish. We have established a base camp. And now that we've done that, we can get some rods out. So Jason is sorting out some bait. The first rod of the day is going out. We don't really fish hard in the day because catfish like to come out during the night. But it's always worth having a few rods out and it's always nice to get a daytime fish. So we're gonna try our luck, but like I said earlier, this is more of a relaxing day. Um, and hopefully we can get a bonus catfish before we hit it hard tonight. First rod out, a little bit of bait over it. See if it brings a catfish. I'm just going to talk to you very briefly about the rig that is thunder. I'm just going to talk to you very briefly about the rig that we're using and that has been effective on this lake and this session so far. So it's really simple. I've got a Cattex Hydra Hook Link hair rig with a small barbed Namazu hook and one of the 120 kilogram swivels. So all we've been doing is getting a pink pop up and a boilie. Putting that on said hair rig, get your pellet stop in there, pulling that up. Now that is a little bit uh, too long on the hair so I'm just going to wrap it around the hook a couple of times and that should be absolutely perfect. So that is what has been effective so far and I hope it brings us many more fish. So it sounds like we've got a thunder. That is so loud. I was literally just saying to the camera there's a storm rolling in and I think it's going to switch the fish on if it does come in to, to over us and it does sound pretty close. <gasps> That's loud. The storm soon passed and we were all waiting in anticipation for what the evening may have in store. Well, this is rod number two of the evening going out. Uh, we've already had the leeches out on the tipper, but we might as well keep them there because they're still lively and they're in a good position. So Jason's just rowing this first rod out. Uh, this has got bottom bait on it. And then, yeah, we're going to get the rest out and sit back and relax. if we can land it. All right, we've landed Jason's fish. Now we're going to weigh it. It's quite big. Let's go. 112. So 101. Oh, another 100. Get in there. Banging, mate. Banging. 101. Get in. The second 100 of the trip. <gasps> Beauty. Mate, it's all head. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Backslap. <laughs> 
Well, I just got into bed and I had a few beeps on one of the alarms, didn't think much of it, and then it absolutely screamed off. Jumped out of bed, hit into it, and it peeled off a lot of line. Um, so, I locked up on him a bit, and yeah, here he is, 101 pounds, just over that magical 100 barrier, and our second ton up of the trip so far. Absolutely mega results. <sighs> See if I can joke. Poor Ken, I've actually got 100 pounder lifted up. Nice. It's off, Ken. Yeah. See you later, buddy. Bye bye. <laughs> After Jason's first 100 pounder of the trip, we got straight back to bed, but that was short lived. This monkey graced the net just under 89 pounds, which was actually taken on a surface rig, which is interesting to know that they were feeding at different depths. This angry little fella is now going home. I think it's time for bed. Bloody hell, mate. Playing catfishing in a lightning storm. Once again, let's put the camera down. <laughs> to help Jason, we're the fish. Yeah, we did. See you soon. Well, I've just landed this new PB for me, 121 pound. Taken on the sub tipper with a live bait on. It's so big and we're both so tired that I didn't really want to attempt to even try and pick it up. It's absolutely enormous. Um, what a creature. We've, you know, that's three fish now in less than an hour. Um, we're not even replacing the rods at this point, we're so tired, we've not, we've really not had a lot of sleep. Um, but yeah, absolutely buzzing with this fish. Biggest fish I've ever seen, for sure. Um, yeah, couldn't be any happier. He's ready, Kenny's off. Good. See you later, mate. <laughs> Looks like we both need a bucket. Oh yeah, maybe tomorrow though, eh? Yeah. We finally got to bed at around 4 a.m. after a crazy night and the morning soon rolled around. After just one hour sleep, the rod was away again, but this fish felt a little different. I was just in the deepest sleep of my life. And uh, I was woken very abruptly by a one toner. Um, doesn't seem to be pulling back very much. And it's just gone all the way left, look. So it might be a carp, or it might be a really small catfish. Well, we have a mirror carp in the net, which was very unexpected, but I'm actually really happy with that. Um, we're going to get him out and take a look. So we have something different. This cool looking mirror carp. I uh, took my bottom bait that was out there. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice to, to have a different fish, and it's actually quite a cool looking one with the scales on the top of his back. Like that. Well, after another eventful night and a rather eventful morning having that carp, I have decided to go on an adventure with Nikita. We're going to go find a bakery and get some lovely baked goods. French are well known for their nice baked goods, so buzzing for those. Um, might have a little look around as well, see if we can find like a town or something with a little bit of stuff to do. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow, so we're going to be going out for a meal somewhere, so we'll have a look around and see what we can find. But yeah, need a break from the lake, I think. So this looks like a lovely little place, and there's a bakery just down there. This doesn't look like much of a town, but it provided the baked goods, so we're good. We are now driving to a town called Chaloux, which is only 10 minutes away. 
but we're gonna have a look around there and see what we can find. Let's go. We had a short walk around Chalu, admiring the site, and this gave me a chance to think up some challenges for the rest of the session. Well, we've had a little explore. We've been shopping, so we're gonna get back to the lake and then we are going to get some rods out for the day. I think we're gonna fish around the other side of the lake today, so something a little bit different, see if we can uh, snag a daytime bite. I've also thought of a few challenges for Jason and I for this, for the rest of this trip, um, which I'll announce when I get back. Jason has no idea about these yet, but um, yeah, we'll see how he reacts. And yeah, we'll see if we can smash out some challenges. Right, Jason, I have come up with some challenges for us. Obviously, we've had an amazing session so far, so I thought I'd throw a spanner in the works in the form of some challenges. Right. So, here's how it's gonna go. First challenge, let's catch a catfish under 30 pound. Obviously, we've had some absolute right. monsters so far. Mm -hmm. So, let's see if we can get one of the smaller ones out. Right, okay. Second challenge, we definitely need one of the albino catfish out of the smaller lake up there. Oh yeah, I wanted to catch one yeah. anyway, yeah. You're yeah, up for oh, that. definitely, 100%, yeah. Excellent. Third challenge, I'd like to see a 100 pound catfish during the day. Really? Yeah. Mate, Yeah. that's gonna be a tough one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Definitely. Well, we managed two last year, but that was after a storm, so. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's gonna be one of the trickier ones, but I mm. think it's a good one. Yeah, definitely, cool. Uh, Fourth challenge, I'd like How many you, are there? Five. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to catch a carp. What? Yeah. I ain't doing that. Yeah, you are. You up for it? Out of this lake or the little lake? This lake. I'll give it a go, but I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah, all right. Why not? Yeah, I'll try it. Excellent. That's and the last one then. The fifth challenge is for me to catch a birthday catfish. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's my, birth right. it's my birthday tomorrow, so. Well, from midnight te technically tonight. from midnight tonight, yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's do it. Done. So, to recap, the five challenges are as follows. One, a catfish under 30 pounds. Two, an albino catfish. Three, a 100 pounder during the day. Four, Jason to catch a carp. And five, a birthday fish for me. Let's see how we do. Nikita and I went around to the other side of the lake to put the shopping away and typically the rod went. Thankfully, Claire was on hand to grab the rod and start playing the fish. That's it, Excuse me. let it go, let it go. You have to grab onto Claire in a minute. <laughs> ah! Ah! I bet it's only gonna be about 10 pounds. That's a big fish. There you go, ready? Keep the pressure on. Someone do me a favour, touch me the gloves, please. You got it. Where are they? They're five. Jeez. Head up. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Size it'll go, Jace. Walk That's back. True. Walk back. He's in. He's in the Woo! net. Well done. Yes. Well done. <laughs> oh, that hurts so bad. Claire's prize. Hello. How big was that, Claire? 92 pounds. <laughs> you are. See ya. That's so weird. How was that experience for you? Interesting. <laughs> but good. 92, eh? I feel disgusting now. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, just as I was drifting off in my chair, my alarm was away, but this fish felt a little bit smaller. I'm just flying the net. That might have just completed our under 30 pound catfish challenge. Well, this little catfish has uh, completed the challenge of an under 30 pounder, which is pretty cool. So that's one challenge ticked off, and we're just gonna get him back. Bye. See you, dude. The afternoon then fell quiet and we were visited by the lake owner Simon and his dogs. I then thought it would be a good time to do a little course fishing and see what the smaller lake held. Well we've completed one challenge so far but now it's time to do a little bit of course fishing, a little bit of fun just to, to break up the weight in between putting the rods out for the evening.
Keeper's just gonna have a little go with the rod now, just catch a few fish, pass some time. And I've just seen Jason's put a rod out on this lake uh, for the albino cat, so hopefully that picks one up. Night number three, the rods going out. Rods are ready, baby. Let's get them out. Yeah, boy. Gonna have fish tonight, I reckon. Just look at the rod. Yeah, you're in, mate. Okay, so first bite of the night. Just had a one toner. We're hooked up. So it's concentration time. I was literally just saying to Jason, it's a shame that we haven't had a fish with the girls down with us. Um, so we could film, you know, the entirety of the fight in, into it going into the net. And this has just happened with the girls still down here. Oh. It's not quite midnight, which means it doesn't count as a birthday catfish. If, again, if I manage to land it, that is. One hell of a workout. Wow. Oh, there he is, there he is. Breached. Walk back with him, Ken. He's in. Yeah. He is in the net, baby. Nice. First catfish of the night is in the net. Oh. Wait, that's definitely a top. 116 minus 11. So 105? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. We go. First fish of the night, 105 pounds. What a scrap. What a start to the night. Awesome. <laughs> Hopefully we've got some more to come. Look at the size of it. Sheen. <laughs> oh, see you later. Bye. 105, get in there. Now we gotta get the rods back out and Jason is on the rods. Later on in the night, Jason had this 101 pounder as well as something a little different. Kenny set me a challenge earlier today saying that I had to catch carp. I was gonna target them tomorrow or the next day, so now I don't have to, um, which is a relief because I wasn't really up for that to be honest. Um, but no, it's a really nice looking fish actually. Um, and like I say, it's a PB for me, 25 pound. So um, yeah, we're gonna get this slip back and redo the rods and hopefully we'll get a catfish next time. Cool. That's two challenges out of five. 25 pound mirror. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. A fairly eventful night last night. Two catfish and a carp and then nothing after that. So not too bad. Caught up on a little bit of sleep. And it's my birthday today, which means I can try and tick off the challenge of a birthday catfish. We are going to go out for some lunch today. We're going to find a town or a city or something nearby. Um, all go out together, have some lunch. And then we're going to come back for the afternoon, get the rods straight out. And then the challenges can continue. We found a nice restaurant to have some lunch at and then headed back to the lake to resume fishing. We're gonna go get the rods out. See if we can get me a birthday fish. We've got about nine hours left. Let's go! I was just having a snooze. Oh, the 
woken by the alarm, screaming. I had a scramble over Nikita, who was also led in my bed chair with me. Jump out and grab it. And we are hooked up. Still shaking. Sat in nice and quietly time my room. <laughs> He's in. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm. That's fresh spawn marks. Well, not like that. <laughs> that stinks. It's not very good. That is the birthday catfish I was hoping for. About 40, 45 pound I would estimate. It's got quite a big belly on it. But yeah, mega happy that that challenge is complete. Uh, it's time to get the rod back out. <laughs> Bye. Au revoir, the birthday cat. Evening broke and the lake fell silent. Jason had this 94 pounder in the night, but nothing else appeared that evening. The next day was uneventful with no fish coming during the day. We did have a large downpour of rain, which I thought was a good sign as this would help oxygenate the lake and hopefully bring the cats on the feed. Just as dusk was turning to night, we lit the fire, started to chill, but then my alarm screamed into life. Well, uh, Jason's just been out to try and unsnag a, a rod that went. And now I'm into a fish. This is exciting, but it's just starting to rain. <laughs> Quite a strong fish, to be fair. trying to keep the pressure on so it doesn't go for the monk that is in the water because we have had some problems with that. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> mm. <laughs> Thank you. Well, just on night time this has been. It's uh, just gone 10. It's been dead all day. We've obviously been fishing all day. Not even a beat, pretty much. Oh, yeah. I can the odd liner here and there, but as soon as it hits darkness, it just shows you know, cats aren't nocturnal. I've said it before. Um, Walk back, then. I am. He's in. What a battle. I'm knackered after that. That was really hard work. My arms are killing me. Brilliant job. <laughs> It's in the net, it did wipe out a line, but but I said I have that in the net already. 124. That's 113. Well, first catfish of the evening. 113 pounds. Not a bad way to start if you ask me. Shame it didn't come about an hour earlier because that would have been the 100 pound during the day challenge. But I am more than made up with this fish. What an awesome creature. My arms hurt, I'm tired, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Look at that. Hey, look how wet you're getting, whoa. <laughs> yeah! Now I'm soaked. An eventful night last night. I had that 113 pounder just before dark and then we had the most crazy storm I've ever seen in my life. Everything's wet, including inside the bivvy. Everyone's a little bit down in the dumps, but we're gonna try and bring the spirits back up today, get some more fish under the belt. And yeah, hopefully we can uh, make the most of uh, this, uh, this bad weather. The rain continued throughout most of the day and didn't let up until we had got back from town where we had some dinner. 
the rods went out and then something big happened. No way, there's not a bite in one of them tonight. Gain a bit and he takes it straight back off you. He knows what he's doing as well. He's trying to shed it. Get that tail in, Kenny. Yeah, that's it, mate. You've got it. He didn't. Yes! Whoa! Get in there! Man, that's hard work. One thirty-six. One twenty-five. One twenty-five. Another new PB. Get in there. Daytime Andrew. Get in there. So another hundred pounder and a new PB. One hundred and twenty-five pounds to be precise. And also it marks another tick off on the challenge list of a daytime hundred. We put the rods out at about nine o'clock and it went again about ten minutes later. What do we class as daytime, Ken? Before it gets dark? Yeah, it's not dark yet. It doesn't get dark till about half ten, so we're going to count that one. We're absolutely buzzing. We're going to get this cleaned up, get back, and get the rod back on the spot. Perfect. He's off. I said he's just he's just sunk straight down. He's just got like that. Boom. He goes. Yep, fish on. Yep. <laughs> Half past two in the morning. And a scream of a rug on the live bait rod. And I've been playing this fish for a good 15 minutes. It's very strong. Holds the bottom, so hopefully it's a decent one. Well, very unusual circumstances, this fish. We've just weighed it at 113 pounds. I'm not sure if I want to count this fish or not, and I'll tell you why. This rig came in like this, with the live bait still attached to it. Okay, and the way we've landed the fish is I found my old rig from the first fish that snapped me off at the beginning of the episode, if you remember that. So I'm gonna leave it in your hands to decide whether this fish should count or not. But thankfully, we've successfully moved both rigs and we can get her back safely. It's not sure how I feel about this one. Almost immediately after landing the 113 pounder, the rod was away again, and it came in the form of this 70 to 80 pound catfish. Came straight after that 113, cool looking fish. We're gonna get him back straight away. Look at that. Au revoir. The rods are out for the final day. There's a tree in my way. Let's see what happens. Well, it's that time. The inevitable PB buckets. Oh. These PB buckets represent my 117 pound catfish, Jason's 25 pound miracarp, Jason's 121 <laughs> pound catfish, and Jason's 125 pound catfish. Nice. Four buckets, three for Jason, one for me. Good night. <laughs> A two, a three, three. Well, we're just getting the final rods out for the evening. Three rods tonight, because that's all we really need. Got two bottom baits and one live bait. First rod is out. Jason's just rowing back now to get the other two out. Um, and hopefully the night can produce another couple of hundreds, but 
I'm not fussed if it doesn't. We've had an amazing session so far. I really couldn't ask for much more, but there's still time. The last note produced two fish for us, 113 repeat capture for Jason, which we slipped straight back, and a smaller one for me. We are playing another catfish. If we manage to land this one, I think it'll be a nice way to round off the trip. Um, probably won't bother putting the rods back out just because we've got a hell of a long drive tomorrow and we're both exhausted after the week that we've had. There you go. Last fish of the trip for me. Didn't quite make the 100 mark, 98 pounds. More than happy with that to, to end what has been a very eventful trip. <sighs> what a fish. <sighs> oh. Oh good, straight away. <laughs> well that was one angry catfish. I can't say I'm surprised, I'd be really angry too if someone just hooked me in the mouth. Like I said, probably last fish of the trip. What a way to end. <laughs> well, good morning everybody and welcome to the end of our session. It's been an incredible one, seven days of absolute carnage with 21 fish landed and eight. Over eight. the 100 pound mark? Yeah. Yeah, been absolutely mental. And we really could have asked for a better session. We've both had PBs. The weather's been great apart from that storm that got us absolutely drenched. But um, yeah, how do you feel about it? I feel absolutely <sighs> exhausted. Um, we haven't had a lot of sleep at all. Nearly all of our runs have been from sort of half 11 in the evening all the way through to half five in the morning. I think we've had about three daytime fish, have we? Something like that? Yeah. And the rest have just been through the evening. It's been absolute carnage. Let me take this opportunity to thank you if you made it to the end of this video for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Well, Rods out. And then I don't even know what's going on, haven't this? <laughs> I'm like, whoa. We got some beers. We got some ham and cheese. I don't know what I'm telling you. So as Jason's sorting down... Uh, so, Claire, are you okay? Hi. She's crying. So, Jason, I have set us... <laughs> right, so what we're doing here, we're gonna up the bottom bit. Mm. Is, you can try different depths. <laughs> Sign of a squeedle.